take that off here. Once we get the plastic off, we just have the box left. So we're going to just kind of let the weight of it drop it down. Kind of. And there it is, the Magic Mouse in all of its glory, just sitting on its platform, which is kind of neat. Top box doesn't have much to it. Just a little rectangular design inside of there. It's always nice how Apple packages their products. Even this box is super, super strong and tough. And so we're going to take it out. And there it is. It's just like one solid piece of glass up here, guys. Not much to it. The two rails underneath are good for helping it slide back and forth pretty easily, which is really, really cool. And then it's got this little button you flip on, and it turns green, and that means that it's on and ready to go. This is touch sensitive, so you can take your finger, scroll it back and forth, up and down, and with two fingers side to side, you can set up all kinds of cool gestures and things like that with this thing, which is really, really cool and neat. So uh, outside of that, inside the box, we don't have much. We just have some reading material here. I'm going to drop that down, a little piece of plastic to keep it all tidy and together. So we got all that. And then we have the super, super nice braided cable. This thing is beautiful. So if we pull this out, it's got these two cardboard bands here that hold it together. And this thing is just really super slick and nice. It is a regular Apple port here, so no USB-C. But you have USB-C on this side. And it's white and it's clean and it's super, super nice. And it's pretty long too. I mean, this thing is probably, I would say, a good three feet long. No, no worries about that. Uh, we're going to go over some other specs and check it all out and, and let you guys know what we find on this thing. And then we're going to hook it up to the computer, and we're going to give you guys a, a pretty good insight of what it can do on the computer. It can also work on an iPad, iPhone, things like that, because it is a Bluetooth mouse, right? So there's different options. So we're going to go over all that stuff so you guys can see as well. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, so if we're using this thing on an iPad here, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to check our Bluetooth settings. So we're going to go over here to Bluetooth, make sure it says on, make sure your Bluetooth is on in general. Then you're going to go to Magic Mouse and you're going to connect it. Make sure that it's connected here in the name settings, you can rename it anything you like there. And then you are good to go, it will now work on your iPad. Okay guys, so next we're going to go to General, down here inside of our settings, and then we're going to click on track Trackpad and Mouse, and this is where you can change your tracking speed. You can make it super, super fast or super slow, whatever you like. Uh, it'll track the movement of your fingers if natural scrolling's on, and you can set up a right click. This does recognize, even though it's one big sheet of glass, it does recognize if you're just clicking on the right side of the, of the uh, mouse. And then you're able to go ahead and scroll up and down like this with your finger. If you want to go side to side, you can do that as well. And it will switch back and forth. So it's pretty neat. If I swipe, swipe over there, you can see it going right back to the other screen. If you want to see what this looks like on a Mac, we're on the Mac here. <coughs> you just go to mouse. You can also type in search. You just type in mouse and it will highlight it for you. So you click that, and inside there we have the scroll direction, which lets you scroll it in different directions if you don't like the natural direction. Uh, the secondary click, you can click on the right side, you can set that up. And you can set up a double tap feature with one finger, so that does the smart zoom. You can also change the tracking speed here. And on a Mac, you can go to more gestures, and you can swipe between pages. Um, you scroll left or right with one finger, we'll swipe between pages. You can swipe between full screen apps if you swipe with two fingers. And if you double tap with two fingers, it gives you mission control. Okay, guys, that's all we got for you today. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps us make more content. Have a good day, guys. Later.